Hey, what's going on everyone? I hope you're having a good day. Today we're going to do something different. I'm going to put out a six part beginners iMovie tutorial kind of session and this video will be the first one. Today should be Tuesday and I'm going to drop them every Tuesday and Thursday. So there'll be six episodes. Before I get into what each episode will be about, please hit that notification bell and like and subscribe below. I really appreciate it. So like I said, today should be Tuesday. Video one is this one. On today's video, I'll be teaching you pretty much from step one, how to create a new movie, how to import your media, and how to populate your timeline. The following five videos will be in this order, and this is what I'll go over in each of those. Episode two, I'll teach you how to split and trim clips, reduce audio noise and adjust audio volume, record a voiceover. Episode three, I'll show you how to color balance and color correct your videos and how to use image stabilization on videos. Episode four, I actually already recorded that one and that's what made me want to do this. So episode four will be how to add photos with picture in picture, split screens and overlays. Episode five, that'll be how to add transitions, titles, backgrounds, video zoom in and audio. And then the last video is just going to be really quick to show you how to get your completed iMovie video export it out and into YouTube. That'll be in the coming weeks, like I said, every Tuesday and Thursday. So today, let's get into episode one. Let's go. Let's get right into step one. Step one, like I said, is to create your new movie, import your media, and populate your timeline. The beginning steps of getting all of your data and all the clips that you shot, video that you recorded, into your iMovie session. If you don't have iMovie on your Mac for whatever reason, all you have to do is go to the App Store and just search for it. It'll be the first application that pops up. Mine's already installed, so you just would hit download and it would start the download. But I have it, so I don't need that. Once you have it installed, just find it either in your applications or if it's already on your toolbar on the bottom, just open it. This will bring you to the main screen where you can create a new. You wanna click on Create New and then click on movie because that's what we want to do. We want to create a new movie and this will bring you to your session. This is everything you'll need and this is everything I'll be going over in the next six um, episodes. For here, we want to first create a new movie. That's what we did. We created a movie. Now we want to import the media. So I'm going to import the video that I took that you just saw and then I just took some sample pictures and then I took a 4K video from my iPhone. And it's pretty easy. I know where I put them. They're all on my desktop in the new videos folder. So what I want to do is I want to import media and this will bring up the search. I know it's on my desktop. So I would click desktop and I know it's in my new videos. Everything that's in my new videos folder, I want in my session. So I could just click this and import everything. But if you're not too sure, you could just open the bar and manually select everything that's in here. I won't manually select everything. I will just click import selected. And this will bring all of my clips to the top. So now, theoretically speaking, for the purpose of this video, I have every clip that I need up top for my video. So we created a movie, we imported your media, and now we want to populate your timeline. Populating the timeline is really simple. You literally just drag what you need down here. Now, I know that these two videos are my intro, so I wanna drag them into my timeline. One thing to note, let's just say for argument's sake, I recorded these two videos in 4K, but I recorded this video in standard HD. If I want my movie that I export at the end to be 4K, I have to import my 4K videos first. So once I drag a 4K video down here, my movie is set to 4K. And you can double check that by clicking on settings. And right there, it'll tell you your project is 4K. And you'll also notice when you drag your first video in, the video is really long. So I have three videos. I know it's going to poke all the way here through the screen and I'll have to drag and scroll. If I don't wanna do that, the first thing I could do is just use this bar right here and make it smaller. This is how you adjust your timeline size. I make it small just to import. So I'll drag my videos. I know those are my intros. And then I have this practice video, but what I'll do first is I'll just drag all of my pictures. My pictures in here. 
and then I'll throw this video in here. And that's how simple it is to get your content into your timeline. You could drag everything at once, or if you want, you could do it one by one and edit. And like I said, this video is not to show you how to edit. It was just to show you how to get everything into your timeline. Now that I have all of my content in here, I could still go back to settings and my project is still 4K. That's how I want it. The last thing I do, I personally like the beginning of my movie and the end of my movie to fade in. I would go to settings and click on fade in from black and fade out to black. If I hit play, it comes in from black. And then it will also go fade out to black. Yep. And that is how you create your new movie, import your media, and populate your timeline. And I showed you how to adjust the clip size when you want to edit. It's this bar right here. You can make it as big or as small as you want. And that is pretty much it. Oh, another thing. Let's just say you imported all of your media and then you said, oh man, I totally forgot to take a picture of this or I totally forgot to take a video of this. Just go back, take that video or the picture and then put it in the same folder all of this media is in. It won't automatically show up here, but all you have to do now to get your new media in is click this arrow right here. And this will be the same as in the beginning where the arrow is here and it'll pull up your search and then you'll still have all of your old files and all of your new files will be in your uh, new videos folder, which for me, it would have been the new videos folder. Um, if you just put it on your desktop, then it would be on your desktop. But that's how you add any new files you want to add. And then you would just import the ones that you selected. Once you are done with your, you know, you were editing and you just wanted to leave, what you do now is just click on the projects here, return to projects, and it'll tell you to name your movie. And this will be called iMovie tutorial number one. Hit OK. And now you're ready to go back in whenever you want to edit. So that was episode one. In a couple of days, I'll post episode two, which will be how to split and trim your clips, reduce audio noise and adjust audio volume, record a voiceover, and that'll debut on March 4th. I hope this was helpful to you and I hope you guys learned a little bit. This is probably the easiest part. So it's probably going to be one of the shorter videos. Oh, let me know what you thought. Please like and subscribe. Um, I could use all of the followers and help I could get. Leave a message. Positive, negative, let me know how I did. And I will talk to you next time.